In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my entire Chanel collection that includes all my handbags, all my accessories, and all my small leather goods. The only thing that I'm excluding is my jewelry collection from Chanel. I already filmed an entire costume jewelry collection video so if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out of course i'm also going to do modeling shots so that you can see how it looks on me starting off with a couple of silk items it does not come with this dust bag but um, i just use my dust bag from one of my belts to store them so i have two of their silk items this one was from the fall winter runway collection and it is really really beautiful it is houndstooth on one side and just black and white CC on the other. There's a little Chanel printed logo here. It's a lavalier style, so it's almost like a little tie design and it's really really long and beautiful and black and white is just one of the easiest things to style if you know me black and white gray and red are my favorite colors so everything that i choose are basically just kind of centered around those colors for this little scarf here it has a little bit of pink accent but the scarf itself is white and gray little cc logo here on the gray corner and then if you look at the pattern it's just like a wintry pattern with little uh, people on it skiing and then it has like the ski lifts in the shape of the CC logo It's just really really cute and festive from the fall winter collection of 2019 and it just looks like this and it's just super cute of course there are other different ways to tie it very neutral i would still wear this all year round because the color is very neutral three belts that i have from chanel so this one is a beautiful elasticated belt i think it's a calfskin leather it doesn't feel like lambskin but it's still very soft and supple and the little logo here is very very blingy this is so, so pretty and will go with a lot of my summer dresses and probably over some jackets. For reference, my waist size is around 68 centimeter and I did take mine in a size 75. So those of you who are familiar with Chanel belts, the size of the belt is I believe the largest that it goes to so 75 is the largest that this elasticated belt goes to this one is definitely one of my favorite new belts but it's actually from an older collection and it's so super dainty with a chain throughout and then another leather piece I tracked down the very last piece that was available in Canada and this was actually from the fall winter collection of 2019 and unfortunately because it was the last one i had to get it in the size 80. however because the fastening is a leather piece i feel comfortable with punching a couple of extra holes it's not so logo forward but it's still very chanel signature so it's actually really really pretty i definitely recommend something like this if you see anything similar in the future another chain belt that i have is actually very different from the previous one this one is a vintage belt and it is also a chain belt in the very beautiful 24 karat gold plated uh, and it does have the logo plate here it's definitely way more statement and very forward in terms of even like the gold color as you can see uh, the difference is night and day this one is just like so vintage gold so thick and so heavy whereas this one is so lightweight champagne gold almost looks like it's a silver sometimes so it's very very versatile i love both but i definitely feel that this one is a little bit more modern and just goes with more of the things that i have in my wardrobe with this one the advantage is that the hook you can pretty much hook on anywhere around the belt itself and i think this one was a size 80 as well moving on to a couple of small leather goods these are the only two small leather goods that i have from chanel i have started using the gold card holder because i decided that for year 2021 i'm gonna start using it this one was part of the new york egyptian collection 19a and it's just so pretty this is the only piece that i got uh, from the collection that is in the embossed gold crocodile leather uh, it's just embossed so it's really a calf skin but now i actually kind of wish that i just 
kept the mini that I bought from that collection. Um, yeah, anyway, it's a little too late, but anyway, it's just a beautiful, beautiful item, and it is really out there. Like, even if I did have the mini bag, I probably wouldn't wear it as often. It's the Gabrielle So Black Calfskin Card Holder. This one is brand spanking new never use whenever i get tired of my card holder and just want to change it up then i have a few options i also have my lv one i am happy with just having the two in my collection because i really don't feel like you need that many card holders or small leather goods nowadays because everything is on the phone anyway okay, let's move on to some really fun pieces my handbag collection Although this one is still considered a small leather goods when you shop at Chanel, this is in their small leather goods section. I use it as a handbag because it is a crossbody. I believe this was part of the spring summer 2019 collection. Yes, I believe so. I was in Hawaii when I did buy this. If you purchased one of these when I revealed mine or around the time that I revealed mine, then at least you bought it when it was at its lowest price because even these novelty items now are just the price is just astronomical and has skyrocketed. There are a bunch that are on the pre-love market that you can uh, shop from as well. But do uh, keep in mind that when the round clutch came out initially, it was actually not a perfect round circle and it was actually a little bit thinner. So keep in mind that the size might be slightly different if you were to uh, buy a, an older version of this. By the time that I bought this one, that's when they started changing the dimensions and also making it a perfect circle. So I think that it's actually uh, a better version of their round clutch. But anyway, just a really cute, beautiful item. Mine is in the iridescent black. Okay, my next item is this beautiful phone clutch. Although this one is also a novelty item, it is a very functional novelty item because it does fit a phone. Just to show you very quickly, this is my Tennis Max, so a pretty large phone and it fits perfectly in it. And the largest current iPhone 12 Pro Max is just about three millimeters taller. So even with, even if it was three millimeters taller, it will still fit inside, no problem, which is why I really, really adore this item. I feel like it's just the uh, perfect novelty item that still makes a lot of sense. And it is also all leather lined inside. It is actually really well made. It does have a back pocket. Um, although it is a vertical style and some people don't like a vertical style in their bags, I find that because it's such a small bag anyway, I don't mind that it's vertical. I love this version because it does have the classic CC flap with the CC turn lock and it's all leather lined. Mine is in the burgundy color and I believe this was from the fall winter 2020 collection. It might have been the pre-collection. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, there's no way you can fit a phone in this, but it is still a very cute novelty item. You might be wondering if buying a phone clutch like this would be enough uh, to satisfy your Chanel bag craving versus buying a proper mini bag. And my answer is, no, I think that it's a good option as a novelty item and especially because it does fit your phone and your essentials such as a card holder and your keys and even a sanitizer if your sanitizer bottle is quite small. But aside from that, it's a very tight fit. It's really just meant for your phone and a couple of items. Whereas the mini, I find that it's a proper handbag. It's still more functional and, and more sort of appropriate if you want to call it that way for even like taking it to a wedding taking it to travel it's more of a proper bag and therefore it also reflects it in their pricing uh I th the the phone bag is like you know half the price of a mini bags nowadays i still feel like if you're trying to get a mini but you can't get your hands on it and you buy a phone bag that it won't satisfy your needs of all my mini flaps is probably my favorite in, in fact it is my favorite mini flap in my entire collection this is the mini square in the shiny caviar black color and shiny champagne gold hardware it is such a beautiful, beautiful bag and they don't make the caviar minis anymore. 
Uh, so I am cherishing this forever and ever and it is also my most used mini. I take this to traveling like I said earlier. I take this on date nights. I take this to weddings. This was the Cruise 2017 collection and I feel that this collection of the Square Mini was actually a little bit wider than most collections just because it actually does fit my phone really really well a lot of the square minis from other seasons are a little bit smaller or just looks a little bit less square uh just a little bit more kind of angular There's another mini and this is the rectangular mini as you can see mine is also in the caviar this was from the 17 b collection in this beautiful raspberry color and it's just so stunning the caviar leather back then is just so beautiful and shiny and just uh super well made this is also one of my favorites the only thing is that i do prefer the square over the rectangle because of its length and just even the configuration, I just prefer having white in the bag. But anyway, that's just a detail. It is still one of my favorites. This one is not going anywhere. It is one of my favorite handbags and it is in caviar, which is one of the reasons why this is never going anywhere. This will stay in my collection forever and ever. 17B was the last collection that still had caviar minis and any collection after that were all in lambskin, unfortunately. So it's already been over three years. My next and last classic mini handbag is this beautiful houndstooth tweed mini. This was from the 2020, uh, I wanna say spring summer collection. I'm starting to forget now, but I am really, really being precious with this bag. I still haven't used it, obviously because 2020 happened, but also because I'm very precious about this one. It's one of those that it's more of a collector's item in my collection because I am using my caviar ones and I don't have to baby those. If I ever start using this one, I will have to baby it. If you follow me, you would also know that I don't own a classic flap, so I don't own the classic small, medium, or large. Even though a medium large is a much bigger size looking bag, it, it only maybe fits a couple more items, which is a lot for a lot of people. Uh, for me, it does not make a difference. I am capable of just downsizing to this and I'm so used to it. I don't even call it downsizing because that's just what I do. But aside from how much you can fit in these bags, the major difference is that you cannot double the strap. So the closest thing that I've been able to sort of compromise and also to make it a little fun is to use straps from Samorga to kind of transform them into a little top handle. So this portion of the video is sponsored by Samorga. I have three different styles right here. I have this is their um, shortest one with the large pearl. They also have a smaller pearl version but I prefer their large pearls. I feel like it just gives it a different look and uh, it's just more exaggerated. It just looks better. This one is my newest one that I just received and it's a little bit longer but what's different with this one is that the pearls in the middle are static so they don't move around and then you see a little bit of the chain details as well these are all offered in gold and silver so the gold one is plated in 24 karat gold the silver one is also plated as well so uh, it will prevent it from tarnishing this last one that i have is the same length as the previous one except that the pearls on this one are mobile so they can move around the chain so that is the main difference i feel like these two will be amazing on your classic flap so if you own a medium large or a jumbo then the length of these will work a little bit better on those uh, however, if you only own mini size flaps, then I would suggest you go for the shortest one because this is pretty much the universal size on either the rectangle or even the square mini. I'm going to be linking these three little straps in the description below if you want to check it out. And I also have a 20% coupon code if you wish to use it to save a checkout. Another mini before I move on to another style of handbag, although this one is slightly different because this mini is the reissue mini. So as you can see, the turn lock is slightly different style. It is the Mademoiselle lock. So it is the square 
classic lock from Coco Chanel. This reissue mini was from the infamous Egyptian collection 19A and in the same collection they also came out with the classic mini flap in this leather. Anyway, let's just leave the past behind. This handbag, however, is a stunner. I do prefer this over the other gold mini because it is a lot more wearable even though it does look very loud with all the graffiti it is actually very wearable even if i were to wear this today with my outfit today it doesn't look too out of place and it really is so easy to style this bag more than you think this was also the first collection 19a where they reintroduce mini size reissue with uh no double flap on the inside. The double flap really does take up a lot of space and it also costs a lot more because they're considered classic flaps whereas you know the size itself from the outside is the exact same thing but you actually get a little bit more use of the inside uh, and also if you were to compare the capacity between a reissue and the classic mini the reissue is actually a little bit more roomy because it's slightly taller and it's also slightly wider as well than the classic mini uh, so from the front it actually looks about the same size but this one actually fits a little bit more moving on to the next handbag size that is a little bit larger than the mini flaps are my coco handles in the mini size and it is now known as the small size because the mini size is now the really extra mini one uh, so this was the old mini so old mini slash small size is what they call it now and i have two of them i used to have three of them i did end up selling my black one this one right here is my favorite coco handle that i own it is in this beautiful very light gray color this collection also had the shiny gold, champagne gold hardware, which looks silver under certain lighting. This was a collection where it was lined in fabric. I did learn, however, that in the more recent collection, 21P, that they have started lining the cocoa handle again in leather. So the interior lining of the cocoa handle now is in leather starting in 21p and i almost wonder if that's because they have increased the price of the coco handle so much now that they have started lining the interior in leather again not that i mind the fabric interior but if the price is at the price where they used to sell these which were the exotic handles and at the time uh, exotic handle cocoa handles were the only cocoa handles that were lined in leather if the prices now have caught up to the prices of what they used to line in leather back then it totally makes sense and it's actually nice that they did that because I guess they didn't really have to do that right so this was actually my very first cocoa handle that I ever bought and added in my collection and it happened to be the last collection where they still made um, python uh, I mean exotic skin handles so only the handle part is in exotic skin the rest of the handbag is in uh, caviar so regular calf skin completely lined in leather it is one of the most pretty blue color that I have ever laid eyes on and usually I'm not really a blue color person but what I found out after adding this to my collection is that it actually looks great with any time I wear jeans or anytime my outfit is you know has a bit of blue on it it really looks so good together and uh, so this has kind of become one of the handbags that I wear whenever I wear like a jean outfit and the fact that it is one of the last seasons where they still made an exotic handle not that I really care about owning an exotic skin item I really does it does not matter to me but it's just it was just one of those things and I have in front of me two of my gabrielle bags in black and uh burgundy the burgundy was part of the 18a collection i believe fall winter 2018 and this one is just a classic so it comes back out every single season because it is just the classic black distressed calfskin with um, multi-color hardware the Gabrielle style is one of the first style of handbags where they introduce multi-color hardware antique gold hardware you got a bit of the shiny gold 
a bit of the matte ruthenium and shiny ruthenium throughout the bag. Both of mine are in the mini size or smallest size available. And it is one of my favorite design that uh, Chanel ever introduced, Karl Lagerfeld's original design. Look-wise, if you just look at the bag itself, you're not gonna fully appreciate it. But once you start wearing it, once you start styling it, and especially once you start getting in and out of the bag, you realize how comfortable and practical this handbag is because of its ease of access. This design of a more flexible upper, but still a very structured uh, bottom just gives that quality of, uh, you know, kind of like a vintage rocker chic, but still really wearable and very practical. Um, and it doesn't necessarily scream Chanel because this little tab here is the only thing that has a CC logo and a lot of times it just kind of just does its own thing. It just likes to hide or something. So it's also a very kind of muted sort of handbag if you don't really know about it either. It goes very well with any sort of blazer look. Uh, it's a little bit less feminine, more boyish. So if you're kind of more into uh, you know, dressing more street style and everything, then this is probably your vibe. Right, the next handbag I have right here in front of you is the bucket bag from, is it 18B or 19B? I think it's 19B. So fall, winter of 19, and it is just a seasonal style, but this little bucket bag was all the rage when it was introduced and uh, a few influencers online have it as well. I feel like it was very popular for a very good reason. It has a beautiful chain feature, it has the quilting, it has the caviar leather, it has a top handle and a long handle. It just had a lot going on for it. One of the, the most favorite <laughs> bucket bag that uh, I think Chanel ever has introduced in their seasonal line and it's just one of those that just kind of blew out in terms of popularity even though it was just a seasonal style so i love this i love the ease of access um and it's just yeah it's just a classic it's just one of those things that you can't really deny and you don't really have to think about your outfit just grab and go and it's just so easy as an everyday handbag all right the bags are getting larger and larger now so up next i have my trendy cc and the reason why i um feel like the trendy cc is a bit smaller than the next bag that i'm going to show you is because even though it technically looks like a pretty large handbag like if you look at it from the outside's point of view it has three compartments uh and it's a pretty heavy handbag and it's pretty substantial like in terms of material there's leather line and everything uh, all kinds of hardware and it looks like a big handbag it actually doesn't fit as much as you would think because the compartments itself and the lining itself and the material itself does take up space so compared to just a handbag that is just one big compartment this one will fit a little bit less but it is still one of my largest size handbags and i don't like to carry large handbags so this is probably my perfect size in terms of like a larger size that I would carry. It is in lambskin only, unfortunately, and a lot of people are afraid of lambskin. Let me tell you, I was also afraid of lambskin for a long time, and I still am very careful with my lambskin items, but I am not afraid per se anymore. I really appreciate how luxe they are, and I'll just wear them, and if there's any sort of dings or whatever, I'll just buff it out. All that to say that lambskin is definitely not for everyone, for sure, but it's also not as scary as you think. I think if you're someone who is very clumsy and just tends to always uh, get a lot of wear and tear, even in your more hard-wearing handbags, and maybe lambskin's not for you, but otherwise, I feel like you can give a chance to lambskin because it is uh, super luxurious. The stature of this handbag, it just, you know, is so classic, so boxy, and um, so luxurious looking. I just love touching it. I also do consider this as a classic. It's not a classic flap, obviously, and it will never really have the same resale value down the road as a classic flap, in my opinion. Uh, however, in terms of looks and in terms of, like, 
um, you know, when, when I carry it and just like the vibe that it gives me, it totally screams classic for me. It screams modern classic because obviously you still have that big plaque. See, these two handbags look very similar in size. In fact, the Trendy CC even looks a little bit bigger because it's a bit wider. However, I can tell you that this fits a lot. Because it is one big compartment and it's uh, not leather lined, it's only fabric lined, so it's all a little bit more lightweight and just easier, more malleable. It's just a wonderful, wonderful everyday errands bag. Now, I don't really wear this as an errands bag. I wear this more depending on how I style my outfit that day. I love the large big pocket in the back. Mine is in the smallest size, also referred as medium sometimes, but it really is the smallest Chanel 19 bag available. Mine is also in the lambskin. I know a lot of people did not know that Chanel 19 comes in lambskin, but it originally came in lambskin when it was first introduced and very often uh, it is in goat skin now, uh, but also they've started introducing all kinds of different textures. This is a very different lambskin from the Trendy CC. This one is a treated lambskin. It has a bit of a shine to it. It's still very luxe when you touch it. It's still very soft and supple, but it has more of a grit. Uh, it's not quite as thick and elastic feeling as goat skin. My jumbo is my largest Chanel handbag that I have in my collection and I don't know if I can hold it on the screen because <laughs> these are my largest handbags right now. So there you have it. The small size 19 compared to the jumbo single flap. This is my largest Chanel handbag in my collection. It is also my oldest. Uh, I did buy mine pre-loved because the single flap uh, came out in 2008, 9, and 10, and then they discontinued. It was a seasonal offering at the time, but um, yeah, and they never made it in single flap ever again. It actually fits way more and it's a lot lighter. It is all leather line, and I'm pretty sure that based on the series, uh, that it was that mine was made in 2009 but anyway regardless because all the single flaps were were made around that time anyway so yeah mine is in caviar leather and silver hardware like if I could only keep three Chanel handbags in my collection or if I were to repurchase my handbag collection from scratch the square mini would be the first thing that I would uh, try to go back and repurchase it. Unfortunately, caviar is impossible to get, so I don't know what I would do if I were to redo it. But anyway, that would still be the order that I would try to redo it from because this ends up being my most used. At the time of filming this video, I'm picking these two. So the Chanel 19 and the Trendy CC, why? Trendy CC for me is not a handbag that I will wear every day. It's more of a Kind of a nicer occasion bag but also one that you can kind of dress up a little bit and it is a good size and it goes really really good with a large winter coat and a blazer look and even goes well with like a really nice dress too so it's quite versatile it's just a little bit delicate because of lambskin but i love the classic look and I don't think that I can do a classic flap anymore from the retail because it's just too, it's just too expensive. So I'm choosing the Trendy CC for that reason. And the reason why I choose the 19 as well is because, like I said earlier, this is more of an everyday style. Practicality-wise and look-wise, it's a very easy handbag. It's just so easy to get in and out of this, easy to sort of just wear it on a daily basis because let's just be real we don't all dress up every day right so most of the time we're probably in a very casual outfit and doing errands and such so this is just a handbag that i see myself getting a lot of use out of these two bags are still sold in the retail uh, space right now so it's not like impossible to get if i were to go with my bucket bag for example that one's as a seasonal so i can't really get it again if I were to go with a Gabrielle, it's still a little bit smaller than these two sizes. So I just felt like I get the best of both worlds with choosing these two bags. If I had to really choose something else aside from this, I would probably just go for a reissue mini flap in the distress 
calf skin and a black color for example just something that is so easy and kind of like appropriate for nighttime just because this is not available in the retail right now so which one was your favorite handbag in my collection give me your top three from my collection i know it's still very hard to choose just three because like i said even though i have a duplicate of a couple of styles they are still different colors and i have different use for them and i'm just glad that i have enough to rotate and it's a very healthy collection i don't see myself needing to add too many more chanel bags unless they're very very unusual and very special but yeah let me know which ones were your favorite and thank you so much for watching if you're brand new to my channel i would love to have you back if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider subscribing and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye